Hello friends, welcome to our channel DEG Education and today's video we are going to solve the questions from 5 to 8 of exercise 1.2 of class 8 CBSC board of mathematics. So now let's start. So now today we are going to start from the fifth question. So fifth question says rearrange suitably and find the sum of each of the following. So in today's question we have three parts. So now I am going to solve the first part to tell you how to solve these type of questions. So now let's all start. So we have first part. So we have 21 upon 20 plus then we have negative 15 upon 4 plus 9 upon 2 plus minus 21 whole upon 8 so here we go so in this type of questions as the question says suitably it means we have to use our properties of commutative and associative ok my friends so now we have to see that in which way we can solve this question quicker instead of doing it in traditional way so see here as we know 20 is denominator here 4 is denominator here, 2 is denominator here, and 8 is denominator here. So all of them have different denominators. If there were any two fractions which had the same denominators, so we should add them first, so it would make easier. But as here all the numbers have different denominators, so we can use directly only. So suitably, we have to do nothing, we can use it directly method only. So first of all, we are going to remove the brackets of the negative rational numbers. So first of all, we have first term that is 21 upon 20. And see, plus into a minus becomes minus, so it will be minus 15 upon 4. Then we have plus 9 upon 2. Then here plus into minus is minus, so that's why instead of plus, I'm going to write a minus sign like this. And negative dash number will become positive dash number. That is, I'm going to write 21 upon 8 instead of negative 21 upon 8. So like this we have done. So here we can see here. So now let's start and solve. What is the LCM of the denominators here? So if we see 20 is basically 4 into 5 that is 2 into 2 into 5. 4 is basically 2 into 2. 2 is basically just 2. It's a prime number and 8 equals to be as 2 into 2 into 2. So, into this way, we can say that LCM is here 40. My friends, so if I multiply 20 by 2 like this, I'm going to get 40. If I multiply 4 by 10, I'm going to get 40. This is the addition which you're going to do. If I multiply 2 by 20, I'm going to get 40. And if I multiply 8 by 5, I'm going to get 40. So, this is the numbers which you're going to multiply. Okay, my friends, so here we go. If I multiply the first fraction by 2 upon 2 like this, if I do like this, so what we will have here is, we have the answer to be as 42 upon 40. Okay, friends, 42 upon 40. Then we have minus 4, I am going to multiply by 10, so numerator will also get multiplied by 10. So we have minus 150 upon 40. Then we have plus 9 upon 2. If you multiply 2 by 20 from the both sides like this numerator and denominator, I am going to get 180 upon 40. And lastly, we have 21 into 5, 8 into 5. 8 into 5 here. So we will have 105 because 21 into 5 is 105, 105 upon 40 like this. So now as we have converted each to be as the same denominator, now, we are going to do is, we are going to just basically add the fractions or subtract the fractions. So, it will equal to, yes, 42 minus 150 plus 80 plus 180 minus 105. Okay, so it's the basic question here and we have divided by 40 here. 
so now we are going to just add the positive numbers first and then we are going to add the negative numbers so 42 plus 180 would be equal to be as 222 minus 150 plus or minus 105 would be equal to be minus 255 and whole divided by 40 so this will give me as minus 33 all upon 40 and this would be the answer here so this is the answer like this okay friends so this is the answer here and now the second and the third part follows the same principle in the second part as we can see the lcm would be 15 so first fraction would be multiplied by 3 second fraction would be multiplied by 5 from the newton denominator both sides and the last number that is negative 4 we are going to multiply by 15 upon 15 that is in both the uh, numerator and denominator here denominator would be 1 and in the third part here as you can see lcm would be in this case to be 27 so same thing you have to just make the denominators equal and here m minus 6 can be written as minus 6 upon 1 also so like this you can convert a integer into a rational number so and like this you can solve the questions very easily so now let's proceed with the next question question 6 subtract the first rational number from the second in each of the following so this question is fairly easy question actually so i'm just going to tell its principles a from b equals to be as b minus a just remember it it is very easy thing nothing too difficult to remember it is the simple thing a from b means b minus a so for example it is saying first rational number from the second so it means we have to subtract second rational number first of all second rational number minus first rational number and this would be the format of all of the parts in this question so now let's just proceed here so now in today's video i am going to sort out all three parts First of all, for basic understanding, I'm going to solve the third part. Then I'm going to solve the ninth part. And I'm going to solve here the eighth part. So let's solve for the third part first. Third part says minus 3 upon 13, minus 7 upon 13. So one thing I have to remember is yeah, both of the fractions are negative in this case, as you can see. So format is second minus first. So first fraction number is minus 3 upon 13 and second is minus 7 upon 13. So minus 7 upon 13 would come as second rational number first. And minus put from the question. And the first rational number would be minus 3 upon 13. One thing I want to tell you here is here two rational numbers will come. First number for that is the first minus sign is from the question and second minus sign is from the rational number itself so that's why you have to write two rational numbers two minus signs instead of one minus sign so it will equal to be as minus 7 upon 13 plus 3 upon 13 because minus into minus is plus minus into minus is plus that's why and it will equal to be as 3 minus 7 that is minus 4 minus 4 upon 13 and this is the final answer like this simple and now we are going to solve the eighth part so we have 2 upon 8 and then minus 5 upon 16 like this so it will be minus 5 upon 16 minus 2 upon 8 here 2 upon 8 is positive number that's why but only one minus sign will come and now as you can see it is 16 here and 2 upon 8 so lcm would be 16 if i multiply the second rational number by 2 upon 2 like this i am going to get simply minus 5 upon 16 minus 4 upon 16 and hence we will have minus 5 minus 4 upon 16 simple as that and we will have to answer to be as minus 9 whole upon 16 and this is the answer and now for the ninth part here, we have minus 6 upon 21 and minus 12 upon 35. So we are going to write minus 12 upon 35 first. Then we have minus sign. And then putting minus 6 upon 21. Like this. 
Okay, my friends, so now here minus into minus would be become plus sign. So we have minus 12 upon 35 plus 6 upon 21. Okay, my friends, so after when you're going to proceed here, 35 is 7 to 5, so I have to multiply by 3 in the both of the sides. And 21 is 7 to 3. 3 times as 21, so I have to multiply by both sides by 5 like this. So in this case, the denominator would come as 105. As you know, 105 would become the denominator because 35 to 3 is also 105. So minus 12 upon 3 is minus 36. 6 into 5 is 30. So we will have plus 30. This will give me as minus 6 upon 105. And it can be simplified even more. So like this, if I simplify it, I'm going to get minus 2 upon 35 by dividing both sides by 3. So minus 2 upon 35 would be the final answer. So this question is solved. Now let's solve for the seventh question. If I wrote each of the following, so these questions are pretty easy. So I'm going to just proceed with the fourth question, which is pretty tricky. But actually it's not tricky. I'm just going to explain it how. So see here, my fourth question, all the numbers are negative signs. Minus 5 upon minus 9 minus minus 3 upon 4 4 minus signs but don't worry in the first rational number minus signs will get cancelled out because here we can cancel the minus signs so it will become just 5 upon 9 directly why because minus 5 would be equal to be as 5 into minus 1 and minus 9 is equal to be just 9 into minus 1 so i can cancel the common factor of minus 1 from the numerator denominator so that's why 5 upon 9 will be the answer. And like this, here minus into minus will become plus. So that's why plus will come. So we have plus 3 upon 4. So simple now, we're going to just cross multiply. 5 into 4 is 20. 9 into 3 is 27. Divide by 9 into 4 is 36. So we will have as 47 upon 36. It is my way of cross multiplication. If you don't know it, you can use it directly LCM method also, which I have explained in previous questions as well. So now fourth question is solved. And now, well, other questions are pretty easy like this only. So I don't have to explain them. So that's all for the last question of this video. That is the eighth question. The sum of two rational numbers is 4 upon 7. If one of the numbers is 2 upon 9, 5 the other. So sum of two rational numbers, that is two numbers, is let the first number to be a and second number to be b so a plus b is 4 upon 7 if 1 upon numbers is 2 upon 9 so it means a equals to be 2 upon 9 you can write b equal to 2 upon 9 also that is our wish so now if i substitute so we have two equations of algebra here so if i substitute the second equation in the first equation like this i'm going to get 2 upon 9 plus b equals to be 4 upon 7 then b will equal to be as 4 upon 7 minus 2 upon 9. Simple now. Cross multiply 4 9s are or 4 9 4 is will be 36. 7 2 za is 14. And you're going to put a minus sign in between. Like this. Okay, my friends. And divide by 7 to 9, which is 63. Like this, 7 9 right? 67. So now 36 minus 14, 6 minus 4 becomes 2, 3 minus 1 becomes 2. So 22 upon 63. So it is a very easy question actually. So this is the answer, and this is the second rational number. And this is the answer. If you want, you can check your answers also. It will give you the correct answer. Okay, my friends. So now, thank you for watching this video. If you like the channel, please subscribe to our channel. And we pray for our family to be safe and secure. Thank you.